Bart here, and welcome! Okay, so this is just something that I was just kind of screwing around with here as a side thing for my regular project. And this was targeted towards just to see if um, the YouTube channel Evelyn, or Evan and Caitlin, excuse me, uh, would be interested in something like this. So, once it's extracted, just double click on ENK and this is very early. This is like a couple hour build just to kind of see if they had some interest in it. You go to edit character and it can be either male or female character. And once you decide which one you're going to do, you just hit save. And now you can either go into single player and play by yourself. Um, you also have the option to go to multiplayer. Now, keep in mind this does use Steam architecture. So this is my Steam username and avatar. And you're going to need to have Steam running in the background and for anybody who wishes to join your hosted game they're for now are going to need to be in the same Steam region and I've got videos up on how to actually change your Steam region so that uh, you can actually get other people to join. I've had people test with this and they're as far away as Germany and Indonesia and Honduras and Algeria and, and they all joined in after resetting their uh, download region in Steam so no big deal so to find somebody's game, just click on Find, and down here, if nothing shows up, you just click on Find Lobby, and it will keep searching for 10 seconds, and if it doesn't find anything, well, there's nothing shows up. But if you decide you want to host a game, click on Host, and type in a game name for whatever you want to call it, and then hit Make, and as you can see, there's not much here. I chose to be the male character, and we'll come back to this. There's a silver coin on the ground. Um, if you notice the key bindings, the escape will bring you back to the escape menu and you can either resume game or go back to the main menu. Space bar to jump. V to change your view. Hello. Um, <laughs> the F key will get you to start dancing. And this is your default dance. So if you want to change your default dance, I have equipped a couple extras. So if you hit Q and you'll open up your phone, you'll notice it's BBG Wireless. It will show the correct date and the correct current time. Well, I guess I should have put like AM or PM, but you, you should probably know if it's day or night time. Um, you do have these buttons do not work, so they're just red X's for now. Um, this will contain some basic setting information. And you notice your character did do an animation whenever you hit Q to bring out your phone. And I could add in a physical uh, object to hold in your hand. See, I have no silver, no gold. And go here. Now, I haven't set the emotes up yet. Uh, I have a large list of emotes. And it takes a while to get them all combined into this. Then this is the current dance. So let's actually change the churn and put our phone away and turn some butter. Now to change your emotes, um, you're going to have to, um, see when you're dancing, you're, you're not going to get the emote, uh, the animation for the phone. But go back over here and do that. Close your phone and start dancing again. So um, if there is any interest in this, um, let's go back over here and the silver coin is delightful. Now I can come over here and I'm a vendor. Press E when close and let's buy a hat. And if you didn't have that, that tin silver then you wouldn't be able to uh, buy the hat. And for right now it's just the one hat. You could add multiple different colors or different types of hats. These are just place um, holder characters and worlds. I have a lot of different ones to choose from. Um, but another thing to notice if you are the server host, who you have hosted the game, um, there might be a little secret right here. Oh, a special admin screen. Now, if you're not the um, the host, you won't have access to that. Clicking that will do nothing. So, go back to your regular home screen and then go back to it. Currently, there's nothing set up for the server or the player just yet. But if you want to do something like make it rain. Um, it's raining silver coins. And if you look at your current money, I have one silver, and I can run around and not only rains for 10 seconds, but I can run around, yay, pick up all these um, coins. And now 
I have 49 silver. So, that's that for now. Um, I do have another side project that is... I will show in a video here shortly. Um, but, let's hit Escape. Go back to the main menu. And you can exit game. Now, your character. If I decide that I'm going to edit my character and be a female and hit save, and then go into the game, it's just going to go into the same map. You can see I'm a female character now. Um, there are some things that I'm going to be doing that... Um, Stuff like buying a hat. Every time you come in here, you're gonna you're gonna be set back to zero money-wise. But if I go back to the main menu and exit the game, it does create a save game for your player model. So every time you load the game, now you're gonna return back to your actual um, character you selected. All right, so. The point of it is like an after stream fun game where the current version of this project that I'm working on is called Stream Party, and I will show that in another video uh, of two different versions that I'm working on just to kind of test things out back and forth to get an idea of what Stream Party actually is. So stay tuned, check back, and I'll have another video uh, soon about Stream Party. But the whole point is to get people together, have fun social hangout, um, if I need to put a chat in, okay, but um, I plan on having the ability to run Discord. I, mean, I can run a voice server on this or a chat server, but with Discord, you can actually take care of all that on your own. So, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any interest in this, and check in on the other videos for Stream Party, both versions, and we'll see you soon.